Well, we are also learning more about the shooting that happened here in Baltimore before investigators say that Brindley went on to New York. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring continues our team coverage now live outside of Baltimore City Hall. Vanessa, Baltimore County Police say that they sent a warning to the NYPD. They did. This is a warning poster that Baltimore County Police sent to the NYPD saying Brinsley was in the Brooklyn area and had threatened to shoot a police officer. They sent that warning out after they named Brinsley a suspect in the shooting of 29 year old Shanika Thompson. Thompson was shot early Saturday morning inside her home in Owings Mills. Police believe she had been dating Brinsley for less than a year. Right now, Thompson is in critical but stable condition, and investigators hope to interview her later today. Investigators in New York say Brinsley went to Brooklyn after shooting Thompson and murdered two NYPD officers before turning the gun on himself. The mayor, Baltimore Police Union president, and deputy police commissioner joined together to condemn the shootings. Union President Gene Ryan says not since the political unrest of the 1960s have police officers been so targeted. Part of the problem, I think, honestly, to keep it simple, is certain people, certain politicians and political leaders are putting gas on this fire. Like I said before, I believe it's a powder keg. If we don't get a handle on this, it's going to explode. This is a time for all of us to come together as one community because violence of any kind is wrong and all lives matter, including those who put their own lives on the line each and every day to keep us safe. Now, Ryan went on to say, quote, this is an extremely difficult time to be an officer of the law. However, the members of the Baltimore Police Department are professional law enforcement officers who have received some of the best training available. We will continue to do our jobs with integrity and purpose and ask that the citizens of Baltimore and their political leadership work with us to restore the order necessary for their own safety and for ours as well. Now, as for that investigation into the shooting, police say they recovered a shell from the from the uh, gun that was allegedly used to shoot Thompson and police believe that matches the gun that was used to shoot the two NYPD officers. Police say Brinsley does not have a criminal record in Maryland and so far they cannot confirm any gang affiliation. Reporting live outside Baltimore City Hall, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.